whiting, also known as silver hake, usually inhabit the waters off the Massachusetts coast in large quantities during the latter half of the summer through December. This relatively small-bodied fish has become an important source of revenue for small fishing vessels in Massachusetts. Fishermen need to use small mesh nets to catch whiting because whiting are relatively small-bodied fish. The problem with using small mesh nets is that juvenile flatfish and other marine organisms are caught along with whiting. It was the concern from fishery managers over the bycatch of other juvenile fish and organisms which forced the closing of the small mesh fishery. However, through the efforts of gear technologists and fishermen, a new seasonal whiting fishery was re-established in the waters around Provincetown and east of Chatham. The development of the raised foot rope trawl became the new tool which allowed local fishermen to pursue whiting without large adverse impacts on other marine organisms. The raised foot rope trawl differs from the traditional nets that were used earlier. It was designed to fish about one to two feet above the sea floor, hence the name raised foot rope. The raised foot rope trawl works well in this situation because whiting will rise up in front of the trawl net just before the net overtakes them. Conversely, flatfish, crabs, lobsters, and other marine organisms will tend to stay on or near the sea floor and can escape under the net as it passes over them. Although the raised foot rope trawl is revolutionary in its design when compared to nets used earlier, it is not perfect. The goal of this video is to demonstrate the improved effects and design of a sweepless raised foot rope trawl compared to a standard raised foot rope trawl to fish for whiting. Some problems experienced with a standard raised foot rope trawl are the possibility of entanglement with ghost fishing gear such as lost gill nets and lobster pots, the net can be incorrectly rigged, and the chain sweep has contact with the sea floor. All three problems can be addressed through the use of a sweepless raised foot rope trawl. The chain sweep in a standard raised foot rope trawl can become entangled in ghost fishing gear, like a lost gill net as in this scene. When the sweep encounters such gear and becomes entangled, the net will fish closer to the bottom. When this occurs, flounder and other species that stay close to the sea floor are more likely to get caught. A sweepless net does not have the horizontal chain sweep attached to the drop chains. Therefore, it is less likely to become entangled in lost fishing gear. A standard raised foot rope trawl can be incorrectly rigged for a variety of reasons. This becomes an important issue for law enforcement personnel who need to make sure the net meets federal regulatory requirements. The sweepless net has a simpler design, which makes it easier to understand and to check that the net is correctly rigged. Therefore, a sweepless net is easier to enforce. Also, with an improperly rigged net, fishing efficiency will be compromised and can affect the bycatch of flatfish and other marine species. Contact to the seabed can be reduced through the removal of the horizontal chain sweep, which is normally attached to the vertical drop chains on a standard raised foot rope net. Comparatively, a sweepless raised foot rope trawl will have very minimal bottom contact over a standard raised foot rope trawl because there are only individual points of contact. A concern mentioned by fishermen with using a sweepless raised foot rope trawl is getting the net to fish properly. The Conservation Engineering Program at the Massachusetts Division of Marine Fisheries has been working closely with fishermen from Gloucester, Provincetown, and Chatham for many years on the use of the raised foot rope trawl. 
Now, Marine Fisheries wants to help fishermen change their standard raised foot rope trawl to a sweepless version because Marine Fisheries personnel feel it is the better design. During the 1999 season, gear comparisons were conducted by the Conservation Engineering Program with cooperation from the fleet. From that experiment, one fisherman found that using the sweepless net was beneficial and did not have an adverse impact on his whiting catch rates. And let us hear what he had to say on the net's performance. I think it works better with the juice with the drops, without the, the drop shake, so sweep shake. Some days it gets more, some days it gets less, less but okay. that's the fisheries. In the 2002 season, the Conservation Engineering Group helped a few interested fishermen change over their standard raised foot rope nets to the sweepless version. This attempt was to get more fishermen to voluntarily adopt the improved design without changing regulations. The sweepless trawl's simple design will leave little or no mistakes to be made when rigging a net. It is important to correctly rig a net because an inefficient net will have a higher bycatch. In order to change a net over to a sweepless raised foot rope trawl, the sweep must be cut away from the vertical drop chains. It is very important to mark the points where each drop chain is connected to the sweep, especially if the sweep will be reattached to the net. After the sweep is cut away, the modified net is set normally and when the tow is completed, the drop chains are measured to see the length of shine on them. The length of shine on the chain will give an approximation of the height of the net above the sea floor. This is because the shine section of the chain is the part of the chain that is in contact with the sea floor. Sometimes further adjustments are needed depending upon the amount of shine and composition of the catch. The net will rise further off the bottom by lengthening the head rope or by adding floats to the net. The net can be lowered closer to the sea floor by adding drop chains or lengthening the foot rope, but it can only be 20 feet longer than the head rope. When the net is properly aligned, it will fish the same as it did before the sweep was cut away. If the drop chains are a light material, a second dropper can be added to make up the difference in weight. The chain stock for a sweepless trawl can be 5 16 inch or 3 8 inch. Two drop chains of 5 16 inch stock are approximately equal in weight to a single drop chain of 3 8 inch stock. That is why a 5 16 inch drop chain can be doubled up. The chains must be at least 42 inches long and no additional weights or cookies are to be attached. Placement of the drop chains depends on the foot rope length. One drop chain is placed in the center of the foot rope and then a drop chain is placed in each of the corners. From the corners of the foot rope, drop chains are spaced 8 feet apart to the wing ends. Although a float does not have to be placed at the center of the head rope, they must be evenly spaced. The maximum spacing between floats along the head rope is 4 feet with a minimum float size of 8 inch diameter. The total length of ground gear, from the wing ends to the doors, which includes both ground cables and legs, must be no longer than 40 fathoms. Also, the top and bottom legs must be equal in length to each other, and all the ground gear must be all bare wire. The top legs can have a maximum of half inch wire, and the bottom legs can have a maximum of 5 eighths inch wire. The ground cable must be no larger than 3 quarter inch diameter wire. All of the specifications mentioned can be found on the National Marine Fisheries Service Northeast Regional Office website. 
They are the regulations that are required under the Northeast Multi-Species Small Mesh Fishery Exemptions. There are other fishermen and scientists interested in using the sweepless version of the raised foot rope trawl. Gear experts and fishermen from Maine are currently investigating the use of a sweepless raised foot rope trawl in combination with a grate to re-establish a whiting fishery in the Gulf of Maine. Another fisherman from Martha's Vineyard in Massachusetts has become intrigued by its design. Now he is currently using the sweepless raised foot rope trawl to fish for squid in the spring season in Nantucket Sound. The sweepless raised foot rope trawl works well when fishing for squid because squid, like whiting, rise up as the trawl net approaches them. In summary, we can see how the raised foot rope trawl is being used as a tool to help fishermen stay in business and maintain low levels of bycatch. The removal of the chain sweep is just a further refinement of a successful existing design. This design provides improvements over the standard raised foot rope trawl because it is less likely to become entangled in ghost gear It is a simple and easy design to build and enforce and has less bottom contact and useful in other fisheries. The Conservation Engineering Program has been working closely with fishermen over the years finding working solutions to the problems in fisheries management. The goal of the program staff is to keep fishermen working while conserving marine resources and will continue to face the many challenges that lie ahead.